St. John of Matha, Order Most Holy Trinity, 1213, Rome. John of Matha, founder of the Order of the Most Holy Trinity for the Ransom of Captives, was born at Fokken, in Provence, of parents conspicuous of their nobility and piety. He went for his studies to Aix, afterwards to Paris where, after having completed his theological course, he received the master's degree and was eminent for learning and virtue. This led the Bishop of Paris to promote him, in spite of his bumble resistance to the holy order of priesthood, that he might stay in Paris and be an example of wisdom and virtue to young students. While celebrating his first Mass in the Bishop's Chapel, in the presence of that prelate and several other person, he was honored by a signal favor from heaven. For an angel appeared, in a white and shining robe, bearing on his breast a red and blue cross. His arms were crossed and held over two captives, a Christian on one side and a Moor on the other. The man of God was wrapped, in ecstasy at the sight and understood at once that he was destined to ransom captives from the infidels. That he might the more prudently carry out so important and undertaking he went into solitude and by divine providence, there met Felix of Valois, who had been living in the same desert for many years. He joined him and spent three years in prayer, contemplation and the practice of every virtue. It happened once that while they were speaking of divine things near a fountain, a stag approached, bearing between its horns a red and blue cross. And when Felix wondered at this strange sight, John told him of the vision he had had at his first Mass and thereupon they gave themselves more fervently than ever to prayer and having been thrice advised in sleep, they resolved to set out for Rome, there to obtain permission from the sovereign pontiff to found an order for the ransom of captives. Pope Innocent III, who had shortly before been elected received them kindly and while he deliberated upon their proposals, it happened that as he was celebrating Mass in the Lateran, on the second feast of St. Agnes, there appeared to him, during the elevation of the sacred host, an angel robed in white, bearing a cross of two colors and acting as though he would free prisoners. Whereupon the pontiff gave his approbation to the institute and ordered it to be called the Order of the Most Holy Trinity for the Ransom of Captives, bidding its members wear a white habit, with a red and blue cross. The order being thus established, the holy founders returned into France, and built their first convent at Sir Freud in the Diocese of Meaux and Felix was left to govern it. John, accompanied by a few of his brethren, returned to Rome, where Pope Innocent III gave them the house, church and hospital of St. Thomas de Formas on the Celian Hill with many revenues and estates. He also gave them letters to Muramalin, King of Morocco and thus the work of ransom was favorably begun. John afterwards went into Spain, a great part of which was under the Saracen yoke. He stirred up kings, princes and others of the faithful to compassion of the captives and the poor. He built monasteries, founded hospital and saved the souls of many captives by purchasing their freedom. Having at length returned to Rome, he spent his days in good works. Worn out by incessant labor and sickness, and burning with the most ardent love of God and his neighbor, it was evident that his death was at hand. Wherefore calling his brethren round him, he earnestly exhorted them to labor in the work of ransom, which heaven had entrusted to them and so he fell asleep in the Lord, in the year of salvation 1213. His body was buried with due honor in the same church of St. Thomas before Miss. Amen. O Ramus. O God, who by heavenly power and through holy John, didst found the order of the most holy trinity for ransoming prisoners from the power of the Saracens. Grant we beseech thee that by virtue of his helpful merits pleading for us we may, by thy help, be delivered from all bondage, whether of soul or body. Per Dominum Nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum. Amen.